This video is sponsored by Dubby Energy. Dubby is a clean energy drink that is designed to give you energy and focus without the crash or jitters like other energy drinks. Dubby has zero sugar, zero artificial colors, zero maltodextrin, and is gluten-free. What Dubby does have is vitamins, amino acids, nootropics, and caffeine from coffee fruit extract. It also comes in amazing custom flavors that you won't find anywhere else like Dub Sludge, Dragonade, Galaxy Grenade, and the caffeine-free Monkey Madness. I mean, my personal favorite is the Beach and Peach, and that's because I don't usually like peach. Use the referral link in the description below to get your first tub or try out the starter kit for just $14.49. Want to sweeten that deal? Use the promo code WILDTWILIGHT and get 10% off your order. Be better with Dubby Energy. Now, back to the video. Welcome, denizens of the Twilight Realm. We are back to get the next part of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, we just finished the beginning. We talked to Knuckles, we talked to Espio and uh, Ve uh, Vector. Now, we're going to talk to Rouge and Blaze the Cat. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? The mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Besides, I'm pretty sure I clicked on everything. Oh, hello, hello, Swanky. The casino car. Just a, just a prediction? This is probably going to be my favorite. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a, we have a lot to say to you. Uh, so do I. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the microwave master with you. Oh, come on. That's how she knows me? Please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Can I explain? Ellipses. Tell him, Rouge. We're going to need the help. Please. All right, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about any treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. All right, well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. Please don't tell me you've accepted birthdays Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me in the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train car for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé Chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure's real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written on it. It's the score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let's see that. Uh-uh-uh, finder's keeper, sweetheart. There is a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us to the room holding the Fabergé chow in. But we're not getting out anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Ch Fabergé chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Uh, I'm not familiar with Blaze the Cat, but I know all about Rouge thanks to, you know, cultural osmosis. Even if I've never seen an episode of Sonic X in my life. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Do you have an opinion on this? Uh. Well, you know what? I'm just going to do it just for a rouge to like me. It's time for a five-finger discount. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Tyre are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow egg. That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Hello. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg Room is perfect. 
is behind a locked elevator door. The security, <laughs> the security guard has the access card. Do we distract the guard? Distract him. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm going to be at a casino, my poker face needs to work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Um, you are, baby girl. <laughs> Trust me, you're all a distraction. Of course, I'll distract him. Who could resist my feminine charms? Uh, evidently, according to the internet, nobody. I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a child. Ah, I forgot about that part. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Oh well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Who's distracting the security guard? Um, I guess I'll go with Tails? Sure, I could be the distraction. I don't like the way you say it that. Vito. I'm with Blaze. His delivery was shaky. No, no, really. I, I could do it. Sorry, buddy. I think you'll be better off elsewhere. In that case, who should we choose? Who's distracting? Blaze is the only one left. Come on. <sighs> yes, everyone. By process of elimination, Blaze is the only one left. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Ugh, her voice was so stoic, I have chills. I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Um. Uh. Push a bunch of po Causing a ruckus. I like it a lot. That'll get the guard's attention for sure. Let's move forward. Oh, thank God. First try. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. First try. Again. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. What's your plan? Uh... Do I dare be so lucky? Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? W what? Well, I, uh... Your dress... You dress far too plain. You would need to come... A complete refashioning immediately. You know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else! With car chain... Okay. Oh, man. Ugh. Not good enough to be Blaze's spouse. I'm still not comfortable with any violence here. It's just a little purr. Push! That chow's low to the ground. It won't hurt them. But if they start crying, it'd bring unwanted attention to us. Why is someone who cries so easily a security guard? Hey! I resemble that remark. Decent point. Let's think of... Oh, come on, really? Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing... Oh, come on, you guys! Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it into the elevator. Inside, we... Uh... Dance? Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, last minute security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? My shoes don't have laces. Anyone here not tie a knot? Yes. Well, no. Really? Oh man, you. Uh, I can, but I gotta sing a little song. <laughs> I don't. Oh my god. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. Guess someone didn't want to hear my song. Uh, let me guess the song. Uh, uh, loop de loop and pull, and your shoes are looking cool. Uh, have tables disabled? I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, ta oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip.
Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. Oh, this isn't even a mystery anymore. It's a heist. That we don't get to see. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on the blueprints. Let's claim our let's claim our Fabergé Chow egg. <laughs> Boom! No question. This has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. Twenty-three. Really? Wow. Oh, wow. It's here. <laughs> I have it. Ooh. All right. Before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. Don't. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding its, their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg's secret? Because the each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge! Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? Is that, that's an excellent question. What do we do with the bomb? Uh. Lock it in the safe. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Ugh. Okay, fine. It's going back in. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open? What? Close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. It must be a weird, weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to? We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Really? Ah. Oh, oh. Um. Twist the egg again. Great idea. Stop, that's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Uh... Uh... Like in the movies. Ah, uh, this isn't a movie, it's a game. Let Rouge kiss the egg, yes. It's as they say, love always prevails. I still hear the ticking. Yeah, me too. Hmm, what a prude. Uh. 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 Eh, forget it. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb. That is our goal. So I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? That's right. I think you're onto something. Hmm, what's right? Spit out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just SBO did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to keep to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Those robotic arms attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought in through the train disguised as a Fabergé chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have been allowed on. The only other person who knows the coming and going off the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Ellipses. Ellipses. Okay, we wait. Ellipses. Okay. Ellipses. The egg? It opened. It's hollow. It's not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. 
Phew. My, my. Well, that was one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. E, and look what's inside. Oh, wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. He said no one lived to tell the Fabergé chow egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. Oh, my neck. No one seems to suspect anything. And the security guard is back at the post. Hope they subdued that drink coaster fiend okay. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer never to do it again. Now Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I, it's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little long in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reason with her. She's more powerful than me. Yes, I see two big powerfuls right there. Well, we'll get out of your way then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Xiao gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge, but we've also had just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything else. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Wanna play back deck? I don't know how to play that. Simply don't have the time, oh, okay. But then why'd you give me the option? The capabilities of this robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. Can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know, the conductoring was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. Tails, we must search the trash bin. <sighs> it's empty. Oh. Oh? Did I hear an O? Oh? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. Let's see. It's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date. And when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. Um, that's very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. A lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop? That's all that's here. Is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? I just... Leave me be. Hmm, should I give the slot machine a try? All right, let's see. Big money, big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies, stop. Well, I lost. No, I respect your strength, <laughs> thanks. Hello. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now what can I do for you, darlings? Are you hungry? What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem, just let me know if you need something later. Sure. If I need a bag of chips, I'll haul it. Aw, oh, now I feel kind of bad. 
Pulling off that heist was more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Can I interest you in anything on the menu? I'm content for now, thank you. The whole maybe an egg is a bob thing destroyed my appetite. Yeah, <laughs> I was nervous myself. We could tell you sweat out of your uniform pretty often. Yeah, you're very, you're a very mm, animated person. Wow. Alrighty then. Ready to get going? <laughs>